Niagara Medical Campus is getting set for a big addition on High Street. Oshai Children's Hospital now just over an hour away from accepting some new patients. You're looking live at both the old site and the new facility. The old on Bryant Street, the new on High Street. This state of the art hospital is about more than just keeping kids healthy. Right, we know it's so important to watch them physically, but they're also looking out for kids' emotional health while they're there. They're providing Zoo TV. It's a live stream of animals at the Buffalo Zoo on all the patient TVs. There's also a pavilion for performances, and the hospital's offering a winter garden and some outdoor spaces for families to be able to get out and get some fresh air whenever there are some long stays. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twila Nugent live for us on Bryant Street with a closer look at what this means for Buffalo. Good morning. It's been an early and a cold day for the staff at Women and Children's Hospital. Right now we are joined by the president of Kaleida Health, Jody LaMeo. Thanks for braving the cold and coming out to talk oh, to us. Oh, this is great. You kidding? Yeah, but talk to me about how you're feeling today. I'm feeling great. I feel so happy for the community. I feel thrilled for all of the nurses and staff and caregivers at Children's over the years. We're finally here. It's happening. Happening and, and there's huge excitement throughout not only the hospital, our system, but throughout the whole community. And I think we've been talking a little bit about the emotions, because it's not just a building that you're moving, it's also the people, and they've been here for a long time. It's incredible. I mean, I've been getting emails even up to this morning where you're just listening to stories and people who've been here for 30, 40 years. And the reality is, you know, like all of us, we spend more time at work than we do at home, and there's lots of memories, good really, really good memory. So the, the emotions are raw right now and lots of tears, tears of joy that we're moving, but lots of things going through people's minds of just uh, yesteryear. And so it's really cool. It's really, really cool. And you've got a lot of moving parts to all of this with really delicate, I mean, patients in vulnerable states. How confident are you that your team has, you know, prepared for everything? Well, we're a hundred percent confident. So, I mean, this is we were ready. I mean, we were ready a while ago. Uh, just, I just left a five o'clock meeting with the team and just going through each and every patient, each and every manifest. So the detail is spectacular. I think all of our patients, all their families who are moving, around 125 of them right now, should feel very confident. Lots of excitement, uh, but we're confident because we're prepared. So I think the more you prepare, uh, the more confident you become. And so in those few short hours, when I say that, probably roughly around 24 hours, we'll be uh, fully up and running at Oshai. Perfect. Just such an endeavor. Thank you so much, Jody, for Thank joining you. us. Uh, again, this starts at 7 a.m., but stay with us. We'll have all your updates on everything you need to know, traffic, and uh, if you need to take anyone to the hospital, where you should be going as well. Live at Women and Children's, I'm Tuila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Tuila.